up and welcome back to my channel. So, in today's video, I'm going to be doing a Q&A. I asked you guys to ask me questions on Instagram and you guys asked some really good ones. I have not done a Q&A in a while. I can't remember if I've done one this year yet or not. I want to say I have, but at the same time, I'm not sure. But I'm going to answer some because, you know, things change all the time and you guys are new sometimes and don't know a lot about me. So, these are just fun to do every now and then so the new people can get to know me a little bit better. Also want to do a little disclaimer. I currently sound like this. I do not sound like this on a normal daily basis. Honestly, I don't know what's wrong with my voice. It just, one morning I woke up and it was gone. Like, completely gone. I have no clue what happened, but this is what I woke up one day sounding like and it's been like this for about two days now. So I'm hoping soon I get over it and I'll sound better but for today's video we're just gonna have to sound like this but it's alright, it's fine. Um, you'll just have to deal with it for this video and hopefully next video I'll sound a lot better but before we get started make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe down below and let's get started. Okay so one question I got a lot is after high school, what do you want to do? That was a huge like question everybody asked me. Like I had so many people ask me that. And for those of you who don't know, this is my senior year I'm going into. And it's my last year in high school, which is honestly insane and crazy to say because like I just cannot believe I'm almost done with high school. My plan is to take a gap year and kind of just like travel and you know just do some things that I've been wanting to do for a while. So I'm probably gonna take that year to like travel and go do things. And then after that, I thought about going to college. Um, this year I'm going to go and do some college tours so I can go ahead and like have in mind kind of where I wanna go so after the gap year's over, I can go there. Um, so that's kind of like my plan for now. Obviously anything can change because I'd also thought about like not taking a gap year and going straight into college. But I think I want to take that gap year because that's been like my plan for so long now. And I already had like a trip plan I really wanted to go on. And if I'm in college, I can't do that. So it's just, it's a lot to think about and a lot to decide on. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to take a gap year. And then after the gap year, go to college. Next question is, favorite thing about NC? Um, probably the beaches. Literally, I love the beach. It's my favorite thing ever like I love it there so that's probably like my favorite part I don't know I'm trying to think we have some good food though I will say that we have good food here <laughs> I sound like I'm going through puberty this is so bad guys I've got to like quit talking or something this is like horrible I'm like straining so bad to get it out and it might not sound as bad like on camera but I feel like it does because in person it sounds horrible and I've been talking all day and it's like 6.30 at night, so that's another reason why it's even worse because I've been talking all day and I'm just like tired, so <laughs> that's probably why. But yeah, my favorite thing about North Carolina is probably the beaches. I don't really know anything else other than like the beaches and food. Okay, next is how excited were you when you found out that Kayla was having twins? Those of you who are new, Kayla is my sister. She is um, 25. She has a six month old and just found out like a month ago she's pregnant with twins. <laughs> so. A lot going on, a lot going on, but when I first found out, honestly, okay, so I've been saying that Kayla's going to have twins for, like, years, and when I mean years, I mean, like, since I was, like, nine or ten, I've been saying my sister was going to have twins. I did this, like, ring test on my sister one time, and it's, like, if it spins really, really big, then it means that you're having twins, and, like, obviously, if it goes in a circle, I think that's girl, if it goes in a line, that's boy. And if it goes really big in a circle or really big in a line, that means twin boys or girls. And so I did that on my sister like a long time ago. And it swung really big for twins. And so I've always said ever since then, you're going to have twins. My first initial reaction was, no way, I guess that. Um, and then I was excited after that. But at first I was shocked. I was just like, like what? Like there is no absolute way that she's pregnant with twins like how is she gonna do this and she has a six month old like that's a lot and by the time the babies are born Aspen will literally just turn one so she'll be walking and crawling and all that stuff and Kayla's gonna be like practically bedridden with twins it's a lot it's a lot I'm so excited for Kayla I'm sad for Kayla I'm like 
cannot wait. I always said at times like I wish I had a twin because I feel like it would be like cool to have like a built-in best friend type thing. So I don't know. I think I think it'll be good and I think it'll be really awesome to see them like grow up and stuff. So the next question is do you enjoy driving? I do enjoy driving. I love driving. It's so much fun. At first like when I first started driving I was so nervous and I was so scared and I was like mm, I don't know if I'm gonna like this but I've been driving a lot recently and I do love it. It's a lot of fun. The same person asked, how are you really? Um, I'm good, kind of. <laughs> Other than sounding like this, I'm doing okay, I'm doing good. And I hope y'all are all doing good too. Um, but yeah, I'm doing pretty good at the moment. Once this is gone, I'll be doing so much better though. Next question is, have you ever had your first kiss or ever had a boyfriend? Now, I'm gonna answer the first part of that question, not the second part yet, because that's coming too. But the first question, have you ever had your first kiss? I have had my first kiss. That's probably a shock to a lot of people, because so many people don't think I've had my first kiss yet. And so I get that question asked like all the time, like when I'm live and stuff. So many people were like, have you ever had your first kiss? Yes, I have had my first kiss. So there you go. <laughs> I hope you all enjoy it. Um, but yeah, I mean, nothing really to it. Just. I have had my first kiss. <laughs> Next question is, how long have you been homeschooled and do you wish you got a public school? I've been homeschooled my whole entire life. I've never been to a public school or anything like that. Um, I, at times, have like thought about going to public school. I thought about going to public school this year for my last year because so many people have been telling me like, you should go just for your last year so you have like no regrets of not going. And I have thought about it. Obviously, it's like makes me nervous to go because I've never been before. But I do think it would be fun. It would be like a new experience for my last year. But, I don't know, I have mixed feelings about it. I mean, it's not like I can't go to public school. My parents have always told me if you wanna go, go. Like, that's fine. It just makes me nervous about going, because I've never been before. But everything makes me nervous. I feel like once I went and I did it, I'd be fine. But, you know, I don't know. I guess just, yes, I thought about going to public school, been homeschooled my whole life, you know. It just is what it is, I don't know. I have a hard time making decisions too, so that plays a lot into it. Next question is, favorite book and favorite film? My favorite book is probably Binding 13. That was a really great book I read. Um, Cause I have like Binding 13 and then Keeping 13. Those are great books, I definitely recommend. And then my favorite movie, I love a lot of old school movies. Oh, I didn't say old, I literally said old. <laughs> um, I love a lot of old school movies. So probably one of my favorites is Dirty Dancing. I love that movie, it's such a good movie. Twilight's good too. Um, I don't know, probably my favorite like all time is Dirty Dancing. Okay, next question I got asked about five million times and I think on every one of these Q&As, I get asked this question five million times and I also get asked this question five million times on my live. But we're gonna put up a bunch of like people that have asked it because it's quite a lot. Um, the most asked question I get is, do I have a boyfriend or have I ever had a boyfriend? Both of those I get asked a lot. And I currently do not have a boyfriend single as a Pringle um, and I have never had a boyfriend <laughs> that is a shock to a lot why I don't know I'm homeschooled so I mean that puts a lot into it like you know what I mean um I don't know I don't know never had a boyfriend before everybody always asks why I don't know like it's not like a preference I guess like I guess I'm just waiting is what I'm waiting for like I'm waiting for the right person I'm waiting for the right person to come along and something happen. And I don't know, I guess that's about it. But I don't have a boyfriend now either. So it's like my most asked question. And like why I get that question asked so much, I don't know. Like if I had a boyfriend, like you guys would know. You guys would know. Like I would tell you guys if I had a boyfriend, I promise. But I don't. So that question is asked so much. Like, it's so crazy. Next question is, would you ever want to go to the haunted places that Sam and Colby visited? Yes. That is 100% yes. I've been trying to beg my mom to go with me to a, like, haunted place and do one of those videos. But they're all terrified. Like, nobody will go. Mom won't go with me. Liza won't go with me. I will. No, you won't. I've I, asked you I 12 really, times. I think I really would. I think it'd be cool to go. I'll go. Really? I've already told you we'd go. Please, there's some places. Okay, there's, there's some places you can in ask, North Carolina. You can ask her. I've looked up places in North Carolina, like hotels and stuff that are supposedly haunted. And I told her, I was like, I want to get like some ghost equipment. 
I want to go and I want to do this for myself. Like, I want to see. Like, I think that would be so fun. I don't know. Maybe one day I can find somebody to take me. Maybe Sam and Colby will watch this video and be like, we're taking that girl with us. What if? Oh my god, I would literally die. Like, that would be so cool. Like, Sam and Colby should take me on a video. Like, I would, I would so, I would so show up. I would book me a plane ticket and I'd fly to wherever they need me to go. I would go and do it. But anyway, yeah, that's my opinion. I want to go do it so bad. Okay, everybody, that is all the questions for today. I am pretty sure another Q&A will come later on down the road because I do these like all the time. But that's all for this one. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed the questions. Make sure you guys go follow me on Instagram because I do these all the time. And if you want to be in the video, make sure you go to my Instagram. So when I do this again, you can comment or leave me a question and then I'll maybe answer yours. Um, if I didn't answer your question, I'm sorry. Next time, I promise. I just, there's so many questions that come through. I just kind of try to like hit the like main ones up or whatever that I haven't answered in a while. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, if you did, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!